This is going to be a drive around Kirtling to give a, an idea of what the village is like. This is a little village sign and that's the war memorial that they've got. This will be in a couple of parts to make it more manageable. Um, we start off here with this public house or pub on the left which is the Queen's Head one of the oldest pubs, if not the oldest one in Kirtling and where Rhoda Crick, William's elder sister was boarding in the 1841 census. Now we're driving up what's called Kirtling Street or often just called the street which was I guess part of the main, one of the little pockets of this village. It's a spread out village. Just there on your left is some 20th century council housing. Um, but coming up is the school which was built in 1850 and where William's uh, younger siblings went to school and in fact were literate and that's evident in the, in the fact that they've signed registries whereas the others haven't. Then you get a series of villages coming up, uh, not villages, cottages. There's a little typical thatched, well was a thatched roof cottage before it was remodelled. And here are cottages, four of them in a row and there's another four coming up that were built in the 1840s and 1860s to house the farmers that worked for the tenant farmers. Here's the second one of them. And this is still coming along the, the street. Um, another cottage that's been extensively re, redone but would have been a little thatched roof farm cottage. Now over to the left is just pure farmland uh, even though, you know, and this is the little village as it is today. There are some other cottages hidden behind the hedges on the right. Coming up is the old forge where the uh, blacksmith, the village blacksmith worked. That's that brick building you can see now and the uh, cottage that would have housed him. And then in on the uh, left, if you can probably can't see it, is, is um, Parsonage Farm, one of the tenant farms. Again, a few more modern houses coming up here now on the left. Um, but on the right, just past uh, just where that for sale sign is. And coming in there is the old uh, beehive, which was one of the pubs. I just got the camera cord caught in the steering wheel, never mind. Another little village, another little cottage actually. Um, and further up the up Kirtling Street, um, more 20th century. Uh, dwellings coming up there, but just in on your left is the, was the old post office at one stage um, and where the last living Cricks uh, in fact live there. And then finally towards the end of Kirtling Street is the Red Line pub, which unfortunately is closed as a pub but, but is soon to reopen. So that's the end of the street and we'll go on to part two for the next